Gentlemen, the diagram you see here is of the Bedford 22,500 pound rear axle. The bevel pinion bearing is straddle mounted between, at the front end here, a double row of tapered roller bearings, and at the rear end... When you buy a Bedford, you buy more than a truck. You buy the immense experience in design, manufacture, and highly trained service of the leading truck suppliers to the world. ...that you see here. And so, gentlemen, I'd now like to show you a film of the Bedford at work. A truck buyer in Sydney, or anywhere else, needs more than a truck. You can stand a truck in a yard and look at it, but that won't move your merchandise. If this truck fails, the city gets no milk. When you buy a Bedford, you buy reliability. There are quite a lot of different ways to give a truck hard work. One of them is continuous use in city traffic with heavy loads which cannot be held up, even for an hour or two, like milk for the breakfast tables of Sydney. Every day, the largest dairy business in Sydney sends out a fleet of trucks into the surrounding countryside to the farms outside the city, from which the townspeople expect their supply of milk with the regularity of an unalterable law of nature, which of course it is not. Any major breakdown in the closely timed schedule of refrigerated Bedfords and the city would go short of a lot of milk something which the Dairy Farmers Company, which knows its fellow citizens, is much too wise to risk. The city children of Sydney are still, happily, near enough to the countryside to know at first hand that milk comes from cows and not from the faithful Bedfords of the Dairy Company. But not even a Sydney schoolboy could be expected to have more than a vague idea of the long chain of careful maintenance and formidable technical effort which keeps the milk bottles of Sydney clinking on their cheerful rounds. Across the world, in England, in an eerily empty building as long as a good-sized village, an electric train that has no driver, that follows no rails, goes nosing down the empty passages. If it should happen to meet another train, it will stop politely and make way for a fellow robot, programmed to have the right of way. Every contingency, not excluding a meeting with the occasional fallible human being, has been fully allowed for. To the layman, perhaps the really rather impressive suggestion of continuous superhuman automated efficiency might suggest a sort of instant chain of supply and demand between the truck operator and the colossal part service operation. To the professional, it is simply a very tightly organized, cost-conscious system for keeping the Bedford customers and the Bedford dealers everywhere as far ahead of the game as an imperfect world will allow.
There's no truck so good, no truck so well backed by maintenance that it won't sometime need replacement parts. Behind the Bedford dealers is the most modern and biggest vehicle parts installation that know-how can provide. Vauxhall Motors Warehouse at Coddington stores parts under nearly 67,000 numbers spread 22 feet high over 20 acres. In the timber forest around Godwana, in the eastern Transvaal, the Forest Timber Company runs a fleet of Bedfords engaged in one of the toughest of all possible trades for its truck. The extraction of timber from the felling site, down the logging trails, most of which would compare unfavourably with a stream bed. This is the sort of work which really tests every part. Steering, suspension, chassis, transmission and power plant. This is where you can really tell the men from the boys in the world of trucks. simulation of every sort of road condition and gradient is a major undertaking. But today's Bedfords are tested on Europe's largest and most comprehensively equipped proving ground. In Kowloon, Hong Kong, the yellow Bedfords of the Hong Kong Butlers Company are a familiar sight. Not least because this carefully maintained fleet always seemed to be in gleaming showroom condition, even in the muddiest part of the wet season. Hong Kong presents two separate problems to the fleet operator. 
A tremendous amount of stop-start gear work in densely crowded traffic conditions, coupled with sudden bursts of fantastically dramatic hill climbing up the precipitous mountain sides of the colony. When they call a road the staircase in Hong Kong, you can expect something quite out of the ordinary to anyone except a Hong Kong truck operator. At Toddington, a single punch card in the right slot, and off goes the robot to find an engine. It's the biggest item on the parts list, and one which at first sight does not appear a promising subject for automated warehousing. For the chain of service which leads from the factory to user to operate as it should, the dealer's servicemen must know almost as much about the details of engineering and assembly as the makers, and almost as much about the stresses of operation as the user. The department known as service training provides this knowledge by the meticulous informing and updating of the dealer's technicians in every aspect of their work. Select the maximum clearance, which as you see, is half a thou. We lower it down halfway. The flow of hardware from the warehouse and the flow of knowledge from the service training department are the main tools of the dealer's trade. And in the final analysis, a key factor in the full order books upon which industry and its workers depend for their livelihood in any country or any climate. The municipal cleaning department responsible for the snow plows in suburban Oslo use their bedfords for specialized work and test their stamina with ice and snow. Sydney, the dairyman hurries milk and ice cream through the hot sunlight. In Hong Kong, the heavy loads of bottles go rattling around the hairpin bends and up and down the twisting roads of the new territories overlooking the hills of China. In South Africa, the timber trails are all the road many Bedfords will ever see. But wherever the roads may lead, and whatever the job the truck must do, the lines lead back to the dealer who looks after his operator's vehicles with prompt part supply, based on intelligent, experienced stockholding techniques, and of course to the factory which makes the vehicles and supplies the parts, and which backs its dealers with the full resources of the largest truck exporting name in the world, Bedford. When you buy a Bedford, you buy a lot more than a truck. You buy built-in reliability operational backing all through its life. 